Hi everybody and today, um, or oh, a few minutes later, we're going to be doing a question, okay? So I thought we'd take all these equilibrium constants that I've been talking about and we'll kind of work on it, this question here. Okay, so the question says, uh, reaction at equilibrium, um, so here's your reaction, A plus 2B, back and forth, C plus 3D, um, has these following concentrations. Okay, now you can assume that these are concentrations at equilibrium because of this. Okay, if it's not there, if it's not written that there are concentrations at equilibrium, you cannot make that assumption. Okay, so we know that it is, and the question is I haven't written it, of course. The question is actually meant to be find the equilibrium constant. Okay, so find the equilibrium constant. I just didn't have enough room to write it. All right, so. First of all, you have to know the, the difference between the equilibrium constant um, and the equilibrium expression. Okay, find the equilibrium constant expression. Okay, so the expression is basically just unsolved. Alright, so it's just basically saying, um, it's looking at the reaction, so K, C or K, whatever you want, okay, is equal to, um, remember it's products, and then you take those products and what I didn't speak about last lesson is that you actually raise them to the power of whatever coefficient is in front so let me explain you take the concentration of C because it's a product and products are always at the top okay and then you take the concentration of D and because there's a number three in front of this equilibrium system in front of this um, D value you raise that to the power of 3. Okay? And then you divide by, alright? You divide by the reactants, which was the definition of K value. Okay, so we have the concentration of A um, times by the concentration of B, and of course you raise it to the power of 2 this time. So that is your equilibrium constant expression. Expression. Alright, so that's not the answer yet because the question was, the unwritten question is, find the equilibrium constant. Okay, so instead of this, what we need to do, we're going to be using this expression of course, but we need to substitute all of these values in. Okay, so that one's going to go into there and so forth. So we're going to have to do a little bit of work, okay, in order to um, fill, in, fill in the information. So we know that the concentration of A is 2, okay, we know that the concentration of B is 1 molar, make sure that it's in molar, not volume, not mole, must be a concentration of molar, C is 3, you don't need the square brackets anymore, I just am very unmotivated to write out another K value, alright, and 1 here, okay, so, as you can see, now we've got, all we need to do is plug that into your calculator. So, that's just going to equal to um, 3 divided by 2, alright, because 1 cubed and 1 squared is just 1, alright, and eventually that answer becomes, that answer becomes 1.5, okay, this is the equilibrium constant, 1.5, but as I said last lesson, you have to figure out, um, what the units are, okay? So, let's have a look at how we would work out the units. I might just... I'll, I'll put this um, as molar instead. Instead of a number now, I'm going to put a molar. Okay? I'm going to put molar in here. And... Just change each one of these. Alright, molar and molar. So, I'm trying to get the units now. Now, just... Indices, this really has a power of 1, but you can't see, alright? Don't write 1, power of 1 out anyway. So, this times by this, indice laws make um, the indices add, and you'll get molar to the power of 4 at the top, and these two multiply by each other, and you get molar to the power of 3. Okay, now if you have 4 m's at the top, and you have 3 m's at the bottom, obviously you're only going to have 1 and at the top left. Okay, so this is just going to be in units of molar. 
So as you can see, um, that's actually our answer. All right. Now, what does that tell us about the extent of the reaction? Well, it doesn't tell us that it's going forward a lot. If it was like 10,000, then we can say, yes, this reaction is really powerfully going forward. Um, and it's not going, um, it's converting all right. I mean, it's not like really, really tiny, like 0.005 or something. Okay, so it's, it's moderate. Um, it's kind of like in the non-exciting territory where it's neither um, going forward much, neither going back. Okay, so I hope that cleared up a few issues for you. And um, keep tuned, we'll have a look at another question soon.